Hey everyone, this is Ben. Let's see how to build a simple plugin for Vue.js with width and publish it at npm. Let's do it. First, create new Vue.js app using width. Okay, here is our app. Let's create a simple plugin. To create view plugins, we just need this. Create lib directory here and create our plugin file in it. Just a simple JS file. All right. And now we need this. Here. And here is the plugin's method name. I want to create a simple plugin to reverse strings. So I name it reverse. If you want to know more about making plugins in Vue.js, there is a video on my channel about it. Okay, let's look for a method to reverse strings in JavaScript. All right, our plugin is ready. Let's try it. In main.js, first import it. And use it here. Then we can use it anywhere in our app. Okay, it works. Let's build it and publish it on npm. Now we need to make some changes in wit.config.js. Let's see the build document on the wit.js.dev. Look for library mode. And we need all of this. Here is the main file name of the plugin. And here is the name of the plugin. And the name of the file to be created. Now just run npm run build. And I forgot to resolve. No problem. Just import the resolve. Okay, here are our plugin files in the test folder. Now let's publish it on npm. Now we need to make some changes in package.json. And here is the recommended config for the package.json. And we need this. Place the umd.cjs and js files in their place.
and change the private value to false. And here we can create a readme for our library. Now we need to log in into the npm. Run npm add user. Press enter and the browser will run and then log in into your account. Now publish it using npm publish dash dash access public. Okay, it says that we need to change the package name because it seems that a package with the same name has already been published on npm. Run npm publish again. Okay, here is our new package. Let's try it on a new Vue.js app. In Stack Blitz, create new Vue.js app and install it here. And in main.js, import it. All right, now let's see how to update our library. For example, I want to update the readme. And there is no need to rebuild because it is only a readme file. And here just increase the version number. Save it and publish it. And here you can see it updated. 